Good morning. Today, I'm gonna give you a tour of our backyard, starting with our white champaca. It's very fragrant. The leaves were yellowing a bit, so I just fertilized it with chicken manure. But overall, it's looking pretty healthy. The flowers smell very fragrant. You can smell it along the whole patio. And it's very fresh smelling, very lovely. And just a couple of ornamental plants scattered throughout. These also smell very nice, very lovely. Just some more ornamental plants. Very pretty. This is a Moringa who shot out a big stalk just from a little cutting that somebody gave to me. And so actually this is the second pot that I gave it. So I'll be giving it another bigger pot sometime soon. And I'm going to need to fertilize it as well because it's got some yellowing leaves. Um, it is about 90 degrees over here in Long Beach, so it could have to do with um, me watering it more so than normal to try to beat the heat. All right, here's our dragon fruit and just a lot of peppers growing. Very nice. Um, we started a pumpkin patch, which is fun for the kids. And we have about five pumpkins growing. And let's see, over here we have, this is not grafted, it's a loquat. So we'll see if it actually bears fruit. It is in the ground, it's only been in the ground for six months. Um, so we'll see if it actually produces. Um, you risk the chance of uh, some uh, fruit trees that are not grafted may not produce fruit or may not produce as quickly. Um, anyhow, we'll see what happens. This is a star fruit, a carambola. And uh, it's not produced any fruit for us, but it's got a lot of new green growth, which is exciting. And uh, it's looking healthy. I just fertilized it and mulched. So we're excited that it's growing. And if it keeps um, putting out new growth, Chances are it'll flower in the next coming month or two and produce some fruit maybe for the fall into winter time. So that's kind of exciting for star fruit. And um, there's a lot of other little um, shrubs like this is a Greek sage, but it's a big project I need to do. Actually, I need to um, take it out of its pot and then take all the crab grass out. Yeah. This is a sapote from a seed. Sapotes are from South America and they're very sweet, kind of like a pear and a banana with a hint of brown sugar. These are our Meyer lemons in a pot. Another project, um, these are blueberries. I need to take it out of the pot and degrass it or take the grass out. There's another little dragon fruit and uh, let's see, a couple pumpkins hidden in here. There's one right there and a couple more over here. Kind of nice for the fall time. Here's our herbs. Kind of nice. Here's a, another loquat that is grafted. Um, and the fruit's very sweet. Very tasty. This is also a sapote that is grafted and it's got little, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this, but it's got little pieces of fruit that it's holding. There you go. So it's just getting it started. It hasn't um, given us any fruit yet, but at least it's healthy, it's in the ground. Just fertilized it. So did a bunch of yard work the last several days. This is our avocado. Let's 
These are cool. These are ground cherries. They look like tomatillos. But they are actually ground cherries. Pretty neat. The kids love them. They're very sweet. Kind of like a tropical flavor. These are our limes. And we grew tomatoes. We already harvested all of our cucumbers. Made pickles. Last night we even had um, eggplant parmesan. And it looks like we're going to have to do another round coming up in the next month. Um, these are tangerines. Growing. And here's our Eureka lemon tree. And then we have apple bananas growing. I just took out a few of the pups yesterday and fertilized it as well. It's a heavy feeder, heavy drinker. This is sugar cane. I'd like to harvest one of the stalks and press it or just eat it right out. Um, this is a black mission fig. I go for ate the root ball, unfortunately, but I hear they um, they can um, grow from cutting. So I did just put it right back in the ground and it's got a little bit of green on one of the tips. So that's encouraging. So we will see what happens. And um, yeah, I'm not sure. This is supposed to be cardamom. It's not produced anything yet. It's growing. It honestly looks like an ornamental of some sort, but I bought it advertised as cardamom. So we will see what happens. We are growing passion fruit. It's been about four years. This is the Frederick variety. It's holding a bunch this year as well, you know, all over, which is nice. Um, they say that you're supposed to replace passion fruit every um, four years, I hear. I don't know if, how true that is, but ours is looking pretty healthy. It's holding about maybe 100 pieces of fruit. And um, they're really tasty. The kids love them. Um, this is a variety of jasmine that they make tea out of. It's a little different. Here's all of our gardening tools that we use to maintain the garden. All right, and this is what it looks like from this angle. It's very peaceful, very nice. Here in Long Beach, California. Right. Stay healthy, have fun, and I will talk to you later. Bye.